hi guys hannah here i'm back with another video today i'm going to be reviewing the new bh cosmetics sweet shop cotton candy it's the eight color shadow palette i know they have a bunch of these like blue green orange they have a neutral one and a red one but i wanted to try out the cotton candy one which is like the pinky purple one so in the back it says bask in a carnival of sweet color with our cotton candy eight color shadow palette a delicious spectrum of shades ranging from hot pink to soft lavender and deep great hues these four valley rich mattes and four radiant shimmers blend beautifully to create looks that dazzle like a swirl of spun sugar so i already did my face makeup off camera and stuff like that like everything in my lips so, and i didn't do my eyes yet so we're going to do this so this is the sleeve and it's the same as the packaging on the inside and this is what the palette looks like well it's upside down but it looks like this so you have fluff sugar swirl twirl confection sugar plum lighten airy and carnival which is the last one and all of these are pressed in like a waffle cone design and the last one is the logo of the bh cosmetics so i didn't swatch any of these yet and it just came today and i wanted to do a look on it and review it for you guys so i only bought one because i want to see how it performs first and then if i like it i'm gonna get the rest of them because i really want the pistachio one the green one looks so beautiful so and it smells like candy guys like not exactly like cotton candy but it smells like candy so i'm gonna swatch it for you guys and we're gonna see how pigmented these are pigmented pigmented okay so i'm gonna do fluff sugar and swirl so that's what they look like. Jeez, weird. Those are very pigmented. And I still have a lot of pigment left on my fingers afterwards. So the next one is twirl confection and sugar plum wow these are like these are like these are shimmers but they feel like really gritty like when you swatch them they feel really gritty not that that's a bad thing i just haven't used shadows like that before so those are the other ones the pink one and that one And then the last one, the last two are Light and Airy and Carnival. That purple is really pretty. Light and Airy and... So those are all the swatches of the eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. So I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do. Honestly, guys, this is my first time doing a look on camera. Since I started doing makeup, I've always done my makeup like in f just by myself. And then I post them if they look nice. But most of the time when I do a, a look, I don't really have an idea unless I'm doing an inspired makeup look. So I don't know how this is going to go. But please bear with me. And I posted two videos of my collection and my mini haul and i got a couple views so thank you guys for the support so far for me starting my youtube channel thank you and i appreciate it and i hope to grow with you guys so thank you so um when i saw this i said maybe i would use sugar plum and light and airy i would use two mattes 
and a shimmer. The shimmer that calls to me the most is Squirrel. Like the mauve the mauve one, this one, and these two shades at the bottom. I said these call to me the most, but I'm not sure. If you use these two, I might use that. If I use these two, I might use this. I don't know, but I know I want to use the light and airy and this one. So I'm going to prime my eyes. Um, Usually I use the P. Louise, P. Louise, P. Louise base. I rarely use this one, which is Room Reserve, which is a white one. But I think it would go good for, for this because since they're such pigmented and like colorful shadows, you need something white to make it suck or a light eyeshadow base so yeah let's do this together um please like comment subscribe below thank you and um if you guys have any looks you would like me to do please tell me um i like doing rainbow looks i don't have a lot of neutral palettes but um i like neutrals like how should i say it i like neutrals that are unique like not just browns and you know my favorite neutral would be like burgundy but yeah guys i'm i'm honestly scared to use white on my eye um if you see me looking over here my mirror's over here um i have faith in myself um, if you guys can't tell by now, I'm very, very shy. And I'm not really good at, like, making conversation. But this helps me, makeup helps me to relax and, like, relieve stress, which I have a lot of. Um, and it helps me to express myself in a positive way, which I think a lot of people can relate to and um understand. So that's why I love doing makeup in general. And... Honestly, I wouldn't have started a YouTube channel if it wasn't for my little sister. Because she says, Hannah, you're so good at doing makeup. You should do a YouTube channel. First, she told me to do an Instagram. I was like, all right, Instagram. Then she's like, no, you should do a YouTube. It'll help you and da 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 And I was like, for the longest, I put it off. For like two years, I put it off for her. And I was like, no, I don't want to. Do, 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 do. And then she was like, do it. Eventually, I did it. it. Took me a long time how to understand and whatnot. See what I mean when I say... I I never ever ever do my face makeup before I do my eyeshadow. I always do my eyebrows, eyeshadow, then face. Because with this white, I already did my foundation. Look, I spread it all the way here. So now when I'm finished, I'm gonna have to cover that foundation. I don't even know how it'll look. But one second, I have to use my tape. The tape at least will help me guide myself to like where I should put my foundation when I'm done and. It'll also help me to, like, when I see people do eyeshadow, sometimes it's, like, really, like, like, I don't know what I'm looking for. And now it's all the way here, but I'm going to try. I'm going to use my sponge that I used to, like, blend it out. If you guys have any other good suggestions for like eye bases i i would really appreciate it i have rumor rumor do i have rumor three and rumor four which is close to my skin tone but this is what we're doing so i think that's good enough i guess i'm raising it that high i, I don't know i'm still learning guys i'm still learning so i'm gonna take what am i gonna take Ooh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if these are the type of shadows that you have to pack on or, or if I can blend it. So we're going to see. I'm going to take... What am I going to do? I think I'll put Sugar Plum in my inner corner and then put Light and Airy on the outer corner. So yeah, I'm going to take Sugar Plum. All shadows have kickback, but that's the amount of kickback i got from dipping in twice but yeah and this is the amount of product i have on my brush so if i tap it off nothing really comes off but uh where i was putting this on the inner corner on the inner corner so 
this is what I'm doing. Just tapping it in here. So I'm not sure what to talk about, you guys. Like, um, I do, um, I watch a lot of makeup videos. Like, I love watching makeup declutters and makeup collections and things like that. I love drugstore makeup a lot. That's what the majority of my collection consists of. Um, I don't really have a favorite drugstore, um, like, cosmetics company I like. I like e.l.f. Um, I've never really tried VH Cosmetics before, like that. My sister has an eyeshadow palette from there. Um, I mostly really like getting into eyeshadow palettes. Like, um, that's what I mostly buy when I buy makeup. Foundation is pretty cool, but I'm not really sure what kind of foundation to put on my, my face. Like, I have dry skin, and my skin sometimes gets bumpy, and then sometimes it's clear so yeah um the elf retro paradise i wanted to try their um the eye the liquid shadows i wanted to try um they have a new ride or die bomb by the way guys the shadow the shadow is very pigmented very pigmented i only dipped in there once for a first layer and then twice for another layer and it's really nice and it's not patchy whatsoever i don't know if you can tell but it's not patchy at all so next i'm gonna go in with light and airy um if i use the same brush so sometimes i blend it out i have a elf fluffy eye blender brush i got this from walmart so i'm just gonna blend that out a bit for no harsh lines so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take light and airy and put that on the end right here so like i was saying i want to try elf um i like indie brands i want to try glam light and things like that i just recently got a bunch of focalore palettes like the perth and the turkey the paris Prague, and i bought their sunrise palette they're really nice so I really like drugstore. If I ever have any high end, it's because I bought it from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, which I love buying makeup from. Anytime I go there, I like go straight to that section, and I like buying skin there, skin there, skincare from them as well. But like Clinique, I bought from there. Peter Thomas, Tom Thomason is it called? I don't know. That I bought from there as well. So. Let me blend this together. I don't know, but I'm going to build it up here. And then I'm going to add one of the shades. I don't know if I'll add sugar or swirl, twirl, or fluff. So it's like sugar, spice, and everything nice. So recently on my Instagram, I posted a look I did of Leonardo from Teenage Ninja Turtles, which is one of my all-time favorite um, cartoons from when I was a child. Um... And I also watched the 2012 one. That new one where they don't look how they usually look. I, I'm not really a, I'm not really a big fan of that one. I've never watched it. But I like the 2007 one. That's my favorite. And the 2012 one, that's my favorite as well. And I have an older brother and a little sister. So my older brother is Leonardo, exactly like him. My little sister is Mikey, exactly like him. And me, I'm Raphael. I'm not I'm not mean guys. I'm not I'm not as rough and tumble and stubborn as Raphael is. Um I'm I'm not like that. Trust me. I'm not. Um the one thing that we do have in common is that we are both scared of cockroaches. That we have in common because I can't stand cockroaches. Um, but I love all other animals. I'm a big animal lover. My dream is to work with them one day. So Guys, I always do my eyeshadow. Sometimes I do my eyeshadow like this and I never get that perfect like ombre effect from one color to another. So I'm really loving these shadows. They're very, very pigmented. And I don't know. I just I just really like them. So next I'm gonna pick a shadow, but I'm not sure. Sometimes with shadows you have to spray them to like have them like really pick up on your eyelid or use your finger. 
but i'm not sure if i use a brush if it'll work so i don't know i don't know if i should do one color or should i do two oh this is hard guys mm, maybe i should let me go with twirl i'm gonna go with twirl which is the pink one so this is how it looks like on the brush so i don't know if it'll pick up on my eye Okay, so that's how it looks like when I put it on with the brush. And I didn't and I didn't spray the brush or anything like that. So that's how that looks like. So let me use my finger. It picks up a lot more. Of course it picks up with the finger swatch. I'm kinda glad I picked twirl. So I might do twirl here and another color at the end. So yeah. I wonder if I should try spraying it. If I can. Okay. So I'm going to spray it with my Urban Decay spray and see what that does. Okay. I'm just see right here in the mirror. Regardless if you use your finger or a brush and you wet it, it's pigmented or with your finger. Usually I use my finger or I wet a brush. I never really use just it dry on a brush because it really doesn't pick up the pigment like that. But this is really pretty. So, so far, I recommend the palette, you guys. And I've watched a lot of videos of um, people trying the palette so far and a lot of people love it. So, hmm might put sugar let's put sugar so i was talking about team and tea right yeah um none of us well i'm not saying none of us but donnie's the smart one that comes up with all the inventions um my brother could be donnie or my sister could be donnie I'm not saying i'm not smart i'm just saying that a more rough like Raphael they say now I have shadow under my eye I'm a hot mess guys like this is why I don't do your face before your eyes but I just wanted to do the eyes today uh I don't know if you can really tell with the um okay guys so looking in the mirror here there is a lot of fallout like the glitter usually when I do glitter looks usually there's no fallout here on my face even when i don't have face makeup on first but these ones are really gritty like they're pigmented but they're not like the usual shadows i use which nothing's wrong with that i'm i'm pretty satisfied with what is happening right now besides all this happening bear with me bear with me um so yeah this is the eye look that i got i'll put on lashes afterward but i'm gonna do this eye right now so, let's get to it. I don't know. Guys, please tell me what I should talk about. Because, um, I'm not sure what else to talk about. I don't really talk about a lot of makeup related um, stuff. I, I love rainbow palettes and things like that. And that's about it. School is almost back. and So, there's that happening. white cloud um so you guys tell me what's your favorite cartoon and what character you thought you were or think you are because i still think i'm raf by the way i'll have everything i have on my face down and below if you want to know it's some new things that i just acquired recently and i've been trying out for a while when i watched the video yesterday one of them was a dupe the primer that i have i don't know if this is the what do you guys think no i don't know 
I'm still nervous, guys. I don't know. Um, what am I going in the draw for? I need tape. As I do more of these videos, I'll get more comfortable talking and if you hear a noise in the background, it's somebody blowing leaves or mowing their lawn. So please forgive me for that. I think I need a little more right there. I've never used foundation to cover up this before, but let's see what happens when I'm done. So since I already know what I'm doing, I might stop talking for this portion. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to hold up the convo. <laughs> it's a lot of fallout, but it's whatever. But I will finish doing the TMNT looks. I'm going to be doing Raph and then I'm going to be doing Donnie and Mikey on my sister. The only other person I've done makeup on is my sister and my and just me, so. And she's a little bit lighter than me. Her skin is, like, normal. Like, I have dry skin and she has normal skin. And right now, I'm sweating on my nose is shiny, which is weird. Because I'm never oily in my t-zone really like rare rare i still can't go over this purple like i really love this purple but this purple is so pretty i never really wear purple eyeshadow i i rarely do but right now i'm living for this purple sugar plum beach cosmetics is about to get the rest of my money for the rest of those palettes like once i'm done making this video i'm gonna go order them and i just ordered some palettes yesterday was it a palette not a palette i guess you could call it a palette i ordered some single shadows um they'll be coming soon i think so yeah that's happening like i'm always buying shadows like every time i have money and i see like and I, I like i love color pop i love color pop they're monochrome monochromatic i say monochromatic palettes i love their palettes um they have the what do you call it those new pastel ones those ones i really like i like in a trance because it's, it's blue kind of it's like blue pastel and pink and there's like a silver but i think people say they have pressed glitters and i'm not really a big fan of pressed glitters i like um what am i saying i like um I just noticed I put the wrong shadow in outside. Um, I like shimmers and stuff, but pressed glitters are not meant to be used like on your eyes. But you know, I have regular glitters that I haven't used in a while, but I like those. Um, my favorite color is mint. Hmm, there's not much that's interesting about me. Um, what's interesting, I, I guess, is um. I'm not scared of any animal besides a cockroach. I'm not scared of snakes. I'm not scared of spiders. But then you know how people say that. And then when they're in front of them, they, you know, they freak out. Like, no, that's not me. I, I love all animals. Caught a couple stray cats. I've caught a skunk, a baby skunk before. So, yeah. We're going to put this on. Is this even still wet? I don't even know. Let me see. kind of what well, I hope you guys are enjoying the video I know you know and I have the lip gloss I have on my lips I mixed it with another one of mine but one of the lip glosses is a lip gloss I got from a very good friend of mine his mom makes um lip gloss and lip scrubs and things like that and I was searching for the card that he gave me with this stuff, and I couldn't find it. I have to search harder for it. I know she has her own Instagram, not much I know. I swear, finger is always the best when it comes to this. Usually I just use a brush. See, that looks so much better. I use a brush to get closer to my inner eye, but brushes always do the best. And I'm loving these shimmers. They're so pretty. Mm, and sugar was the one on the outside of my eyes so let's do that 
it is so hot guys it's so hot it's hot in this room and if i put on the ac or the fan it'll make noise oh my god shadow here again <laughs> the story of my life hmm look the same wow i'm proud of myself Okay, this video's not that long. All right, um, so I'm gonna peel these off and see if I can cover whatever I did to myself. I'm not going to garbage, but I don't even know if this can be covered. We're gonna get the foundation kind of dry, but let me. Can I even cover? I already put powder on my. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see if this works. Uh, don't judge just 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 i know to never do this again like just do the eyes then do the face like my face is really quick guys like i didn't even put on concealer i just put foundation all over my face because i didn't feel like being lightened up today and i haven't put on um um liner in a long long time so i'm thinking if i put on liner it'll ruin the look so uh, but i am going to be using the la girl shockwave neon lip liner in pop that's what that looks like and i'm going to be putting this in my waterline One sec, because I don't want to poke out my eye and I can't speak and do this at the same time. That's one down. Okay, I finished that. Um, today I wanted like the focus to be just with the eyeshadow palette and stuff. So I said I would just like put on mascara, but I don't know if that will work. I know I like the look even without mascara or lashes on, but you know, just want to see like. I, I always say I have no eyelashes. Of course I have eyelashes, but my eyelashes aren't as long as my sister's or my mom's. My mom has very... <laughs> and I don't. But let me kind of curl it with this curler. I need a new curler. But guys, I'm I'm obsessing. I'm not even obsessing over the, sh the shimmers. The shimmers are beautiful and they're very... But all I'm obsessing over is the shadow, how ombre effect it is. It's beautiful. So let me just do this real quick. Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna use this to comb through them. Let me just use this a little bit of to so that is all for the look guys so i would highly recommend this and i'm sad i only got one at first but i'm going to get another one like the rest of them so the cotton candy palette Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please tell me what you think about it and how I did on my first face video.
Love you guys. See you next time.